What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So it is time to go on an adventure and not just any adventure. This is an adventure through Middle Earth. That is right guys, I have a Lord of the Rings box and I know some of you might not know this about me, but I am a massive, massive Lord of the Rings fan. Not quite as much as Harry Potter, okay, not even close to Harry Potter, but still massive Lord of the Rings fan. So I am beyond excited for this box. This is from a long expected parcel. Look how big this box is. Uh, Kit Kat sat on it. That's why it's like dented down. And it's even personalized with my name. We have the sticker here, Middle Earth, the Eagle Mail. Like I said, this is from a long expected parcel. Claire, the owner, curator, is a friend of mine on Instagram. She follows me here on YouTube. And she sent me this box for free to share with you guys. But even though this box was sent to me for free, all opinions are my own. I always forget to say that because I always try to be honest and upfront with you guys with my opinions, especially when it comes to new boxes. I've been burned in the past. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump on in because it has been sitting here way too long. I wish I had hobbit ears or elf ears to go along with this video. <sighs> okay, let's do a sneak peek. So right on top, we have some yellow tissue paper and an eagle feather, very cute. I'm already liking what I'm seeing. Right on top, we have an envelope. The theme of this box was the Shire. And it says, Dear Tabby, thanks so much for accepting my Lord of the Rings box, Nervous. My Etsy link is in is on my Instagram. I admit the box is quite expensive, but they're spaced months apart, so I hope that helps people. This is a labor of love. But there's another piece of paper. It says, A Long Expected Parcel Ramble. Welcome to the Shire Box, the first box in my Middle Earth adventure, inspired by unboxing videos of Harry Potter and generous book boxes I've seen and received myself. I felt the need to fill the void and become the hero Middle Earth fans need. Yes! I hope that by focusing on one theme at a time regarding Middle Earth, I can fulfill fans' desires for more and varied goodies. Each box will be focused on following along the chapters of the book. <gasps> That is genius. Although I've also included things from the movies, of course, with the Shire setting, the scene for our adventure. First off, I want to apologize for the slow postage. I had to wait longer than usual for items to arrive due to COVID drama. COVID ruining everything as usual. But I'm also finding my feet as I've never done this sort of thing before. I guess I'll learn along the way. It's made me sad as we now miss September, which is when I wanted you to receive the box due to Bilbo's party. Let's pretend it's next year's party. I've used my own money to fund the first box as I'm one woman team with a full-time job and can't compete with large companies. So if you like this box, please consider pre-purchasing the next one as well. I'll be offering a mini box alongside the full box for those on a tighter budget. I'll also be selling items in my Etsy store, so check that out if you've missed anything. I've enjoyed everything Every minute of coming up with ideas, although bringing those ideas to life and sourcing products isn't easy, so I'll be keeping business small. I originally wanted to release a box every quarter, but I'm not sure I'll be able to meet that deadline. Once I get a rhythm going, I'll hopefully be able to decide on the best course. In this way, I hope to grow a loyal following rather than a large one. So first come, first served. To those who actually purchased this box with no concrete expectations, thank you so much for supporting me. I endeavor to improve with time. I'd also love your feedback and ideas. What would you like to see? In the next box, we join Frodo and Sam and the journey begins. Yours, Hobbitly, Claire. Yes, I love supporting small businesses. And this box is genius because there are so many Lord of the Rings fans out there. But let's just get into it. First item is a pillowcase and it's a pillowcase of middle earth look at that we see gondor rohan this is so detailed and it's actually a pretty big size pillowcase and it's kind of that canvas material so it's not the softest in the world but it definitely feels like good material good quality that is amazing great start to the box Next, we have a really long package in tissue paper and it's bubble wrap. So this is not getting broke 20 years later, y'all. I 
I, I can't even talk. It's Bilbo's pipe. Oh my God. Oh, holy rabies y'all. This deserves a holy rabies. Look at the color of this. Do you see the details on the, I don't, I, I don't smoke a pipe, so I don't know what this is called. The little, this part and on this part, whatever this is called. <laughs> the design and details of this carving etching on the wood down here. I can just see in my mind Bilbo and Gandalf sitting there on the bench or whatever, just smoking their pipe. Oh my God, it's official. I have to have a Lord of the Rings section on my bookshelf. And this is going to be the star of that shelf. Just amazing. I am blown away right now. And you can tell again, this is really good quality. This does not feel cheaply made. Ugh, just amazing. I, I have no other words. This has made me speechless. Next, we have a box with a label that says, just tea, thank you. And of course, it's a mug. Guys, I don't think I have a Lord of the Rings mug. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my God, I love it. It is a picture of Baggage. You can see Bilbo Baggins' door. And we even see Gandalf on his cart with the fireworks in the back. Again, the details of this mug is amazing. We can even see the sign on the gate. And this is actually a pretty big coffee cup, just white on the inside. This might be my new favorite mug. I know I say that every time, but I legit think this might be my new favorite mug. Yes, 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 yes. Gandalf, a disturber of the peace. And next we have a scroll. Oh, I almost don't wanna open it, but I have to, cause I have to know. It says, Dear Tabby, you're invited to a long expected party. Celebrate Bilbo's 111st birthday and Frodo's coming of age. Date 22, September 3001. Time all day, location filled opposite bag in by water. Special invitation, dinner beneath the party tree. Limited to 144. Free gifts upon arrival, meals, mystic, mirth, Gandalf's fireworks, limited to one gift per hobbit. I love this. You guys know I am a sucker for anything that is personalized. Like the fact that they took the time to personalize my very own invitation from Bilbo, just amazing. And I'm loving the little gold gem detail on the ends. This feels so authentic to that time. This is definitely going on my Lord of the Rings shelf. Ugh. Love it. Next we have another package, bubble wrap. It kind of feels like a candle. Ugh. Bubble wrap to play with later. And it says made by Nicola. Nicola? Nicola? Mm -hmm. And it is a candle that says Hobbiton Berry and Vanilla Tart. And it even has a little tag on there with like the Lord of the Rings font. That's what I'm going to call it. That says enjoy. So it's just a white candle. Ooh, this actually smells really freaking good. I was kind of worried when I read vanilla because you guys know vanilla is not my favorite. But the berry and vanilla together is actually working for me. Yes, this might be the next candle I burn for my owl carousel up there. Do you guys see it moving? Magical. Next, we have a package that says the road goes ever on and on down from the door where it began. I want to go on an adventure with Gandalf. Like, is that too much to ask? And Legolas, of course, he would have to come. And it is an enamel pen of Bilbo's door from Nerdy Tea Creations. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from them before. That is so cute. I love the design and how reflective it is. You guys know I collect enamel pens. I love enamel pens. I'm obsessed with enamel pens. So yes, I am a fan. And we have another package that says a wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to, Gandalf. That must be the quote that Calvin lives by because that man is never, never anywhere on time. I have learned through our years, years, years of marriage to lie to him about the time of something so we get there on time. <laughs> I mean, speaking of time, 
we have our very own Tolkien pocket watch. You just push this and it pops open and it even has the writing around the middle. The details and quality of this is just perfection. And it came on this really long chain. Like we could wear this as a necklace. Like my mind is so blown right now. There are pieces on the ceiling. I am obsessed with this. This is the coolest thing ever. I cannot even, I cannot even y'all. Oh my God. And next we have another brown package that says you can drink your fancy, alas, you can drink them by the flagon. Flagon? I think that's what that says. It is a necklace with a bottle with the foam kind of top. Like this actually looks like ale from the green dragon. And we even have some beads on here with a dragon charm. That is so cute and hilarious at the same time. Not really a necklace that I would probably wear. I'll probably end up putting this on my bookshelf as like a display. But if I did want to wear it, the really cool thing about it, it's one of those that like adjust lengths. So you can make it shorter or longer. And we have another brown package. I have to say, I'm loving that all of these items are kind of like individually packaged with quotes. Like that just makes it so much more fun. But this one says, the only brew for the brave and true. And it is a coaster of the green dragon by Water Hobbiton. So this is actually the same as our necklace. That is awesome. I so want to go there and drink. <laughs> Let's go on an adventure and get some ale. And again, the quality of this is so freaking good. Like you can tell this was very well made and just the picture, the details. Oh, I love it. Love it. Next, we have a bookmark that says, I don't know half of you as well as I should like. And I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. Yes, the perfect quote for a bookmark. That is hilarious. And you guys know I love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks. This will definitely be used quite a bit, especially when I read the Lord of the Rings books. Don't judge me. I haven't read the books. I know I'm a fake fan. I'm a fake fan. I'm sorry, but I love the movies. <laughs> Next, we have a postcard from the Shire, and it's an art print with different Hobbit houses on there. We can see Bilbo's back here. Like, I want to stay here. There is apparently a place somewhere, I have no idea where, if you know, let me know, that you can actually stay in a Hobbit house. Where is it? How do I go there? Because I want to. I'm only 4'11", so I would have absolutely no problem staying in one of these houses. Oh, I love this, so pretty. And last, but certainly not least, it is an envelope that says, keep it secret, keep it safe. We all know what this is. A part of me doesn't even wanna open this. And then again, another part of me wants to go throw this in my fireplace and watch the envelope burn and the ring emerge but I won't, I promise. Let's open it. <laughs> and it even has a wax seal on the back with a B. It is the actual ring. And it even has the writing around it on the inside and outside. One ring to rule them all. I didn't disappear. That's kind of sad. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> this this is amazing. This is what a Lord of the Rings box should be. Oh my gosh. I'm going to wear you the rest of my life. My pretty, my precious. I'm sorry, I had to. You guys know I had to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but guys, that was everything I think. Yes, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. This was The Shire by A Long Expected Parcel. Greetings, excellent and admirable hobbits. Welcome to the first ever Middle Earth themed ongoing mystery box. This box is based on The Shire. I hope you enjoyed opening all these surprises inside. Yes, yes I did. 
The list continues on the other side of this page. I included 12 items in this box because I couldn't fit 11 in. <laughs> see what I did there, Claire? I see, I see what you did. Number one was the birthday invitation. Join in the frivolity, fro, join in the fro, friv, friv, at Bilbo's 111st birthday party, handmade by Claire at ALEP. Number two, the green dragon necklace. Carry the only brew for the brave and true wherever you go to remind you of your favorite pub or just have it sit pretty on the shelf. Handmade by Claire at ALEP. The birthday speech bookmark. Our favorite witty quote from Bilbo made by Alicia at quotation marks bookmarks. Find her on Etsy and Instagram. Number four, Bilbo's door enamel pin. The iconic green door where it all began designed by Gabby at Nerd Tea Creations. Number five was the Hobbiton candle. Enjoy the aroma from a Shire kitchen with this berry vanilla tart candle. What I wouldn't give to enter a Hobbit's kitchen. So true. Oh, so those were exclusive. Those first five items were exclusive to this box. The next few are from Red Bubble Artists. Number six was the Green Dragon Coaster. Still a coaster from the local pub. As a keepsake, it's what good burglar would do designed by Shirt Warp. Number seven, Gandalf's Arrival Mug, arranged to have a cuppa with a very old friend, designed by Shea Huskies. And then number eight, the Shire Postcard, pin on your wall to remind you of where you'd rather be, designed by Sarah Basso. And then the next few are commercial. So number nine was the Middle Earth Map Cushion Cover. Get comfy as you reminisce about your last adventure with this cushion cover, 18 by 18. Number 10 was the pocket watch. The monogram of John Ronald Rail Tolkien adorns this classic timepiece so you can always arrive on time, unlike wizards. Number 11, the long tobacco pipe. It wouldn't feel like the Shire without an iconic prop piece. I don't endorse smoking, of course, but I couldn't leave it out. And then number 12, the ring. One ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. It cannot stay in the Shire. Join Frodo, Sam, Mary, and Pippin for the next box. The journey begins. Okay, excuse me one moment while I go ahead and go buy her second box because my mind is literally blown. I am in love and I'm not just saying this guys because this box was free because I'm friends with Claire. I am literally blown away by this box. As always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. You guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite, least favorite, non-existent. I loved everything down to the bookmark. Favorite item? Uh. I'm pretty sure I have at least three favorite items, and that would be the ring, my precious, of course. This pocket watch, which I mean, there are no other words. And of course, the smoking pipe. I would have bought the box just for these three items. But I mean, throw in a cushion cover, a mug, enamel pin, coaster, candle, necklace, I mean, amazing and especially amazing for her launch box her very first box ever because i've unboxed quite a few launch boxes on my channel some of them uh miss the mark by a lot this box hit the mark bullseye just amazing there aren't there are no more words for me to say about this box but I would love to hear what you guys thought of this box in the comments down below. Are you a big Lord of the Rings fan? And if you are, what did you think of this box? What do you think she should include in future boxes? But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit the subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Dun dun dun. Like, why didn't they just fly the eagles to Mordor? Like, okay, anyway. Etchy, etchy, etchy. Ugh. Except, it just spit everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, I guess these.
My cheeks are starting to hurt from smiling so much. Oh my God, the box just fell, y'all. I would have died. I would have died. Oh my God, this box is trying to stay. Ah, ooh, an airplane. I had a, I had a uh, what are they called? It's not a picture. It's not a portrait. Poster. <laughs> I had a poster of Gand. I had a Gandalf. No, I had a poster of Orlando Bloom as Legolas in my room all through high school. Dord. Dord. Oh my God! I cannot talk today. Ugh. And he knows I do this, so. I loved that moment in the movies because everybody was like, who's he talking about? I can't stop smiling, but I'm for real wearing this ring and this the rest of the day or life, which whichever one. Ah, I almost did it again. Oh my God, failure. I'm going to Bill's folks party. I feel like Gollum falling off the cliff at Mordor. So happy. Death. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't, I can't even. I mean, I could give this to Calvin. Maybe he would actually be on time, but I won't because it's mine. Hehehehe. <laughs>